Hey Capricorn, welcome to January 2020 and happy birthday! You are as busy as you can be and loving the action. Make sure you're not relying on the past to move you forward. Cut yourself free from any unhealthy connections. It's your time to thrive now. And holding on to things from the past or toxic connections will not serve you in this new year. Now's the time for you to think about what it is you want and where do you most want to be. One of the things you may be finding here in January is that you are seeking deeper connections to other people. Honor your feelings. Honor the new version of yourself and your life that's emerging now. Don't worry about the answers or the solutions. They will come later. For some of you, if you're feeling frustrated or you're resisting what's happening in your life right now, let that go. It's very important for all of us with this massive transformation that's happening to be very present and to release the resistance because whenever we don't like something or we hate something <laughs> and I catch myself doing it or we're frustrated there's a part of us that's resisting what's happening and whatever we resist it will persist that's the opportunity to pull yourself back and get really present and then just flow with it. The only thing we have control over is our responses. And how you respond to the transformation will determine your success or that sense of feeling stuck. And that's why it's so important to go with the flow and release resistance. Now right away here in January, we are at the exact Saturn conjunct Pluto. Your avatar, your guardian angel, your ruler is Saturn and he is coupled together with Pluto. And this is extremely significant because it is initiating for you a new 30 year cycle in your life and it's sitting right in the Cancer lunar eclipse on the 10th. So the Cancer Lunar Eclipse is in the area of relationships for you. Cancer is your opposite sign. And that's why you are contemplating, reflecting on, I want deeper connections in my life. I don't want the superficial. I don't want the fly by night, here today, gone tomorrow. I want what's authentic and real. And that's because of the evolution that's happening with you right now. You are evolving and in your evolution your standards and requirements for friends and partners and relationships is going to a whole new level. And this is important. So honor your feelings. Honor what's happening with you. And let go of any kind of negative connections that you have because this is the past. We don't want to bring the past with us into the future. And we're at the beginning of a new life. You are literally reincarnating right now. And so you don't want to move into your next life carrying the baggage of your last life. Let that go. I think I'm going to be singing the Frozen song all day today. <laughs> let it go can't hold it back anymore <laughs> so you know it really is um, a good song for you to be singing at this birthday time for you is how you're going to allow yourself to move into the new space into the new life and set your intention for what you want to create in this solar year as well as what you want to create for the next 30 years because January is the most important month of the year. Capricorn, that's how important you are. Capricorn rules the 10th house of destiny. In the cosmic clock of astrology that was taught to me by the Ascended Masters, 
everything comes out of Capricorn, not Aries. In Western astrology, Aries is, is the beginning. But in the cosmic clock of astrology, it's Capricorn. So everything starts now in the cycle of Capricorn. And for me, solstice, summer solstice, winter solstice, depending on where you are on the planet, December 20th, that's actually for me the first day of the year. I always feel like when we move into Capricorn, I'm, I'm in the new year, I'm in the beginning. And then, of course, yeah, I celebrated on the first with everybody else. <laughs> but personally, spiritually, I feel like it's the minute the sun enters Capricorn is the start of the new year. So if everything comes out of Capricorn, then that means this is very important because you're laying the foundation for what you want to manifest this year in 2020. And it's very important to keep, you know, a, a good attitude and a positive attitude to not lament over the past or how hard it's been. And I know it's been hard because you've been dealing with Pluto since 2008. And he's just do or die. He, there's nothing <laughs> lukewarm about Pluto. You know, he's either change or I'll change you. Have a nice day. Um, you know, so I know how intense it is. He sits next to my son in my natal chart. So I've been dealing with him my whole life. <laughs> and people either love me or hate me. There's like no lukewarm with people. I like they either really like me or they don't. And that's because Pluto sits next to my son. So I get it, you know, that he is, you know, intense, to put it mildly. And this is the energy right now. However, you know, with the sun sitting there with Saturn and Pluto, you know, the sun is the giver of life and benevolence. It is your opportunity to use this energy the way it serves you. The key phrase for Capricorn is, I use. How are you going to use this energy? Will you use it for your greater good? Or will you, you know, stay stuck in the past and stay stuck in what's been and, and what's not working? That's why, you know, as a coach, I train people to focus on where you can put the energy. Because if you take this energy of Saturn and Pluto and the rest of the gang here, Jupiter and Capricorn, and Mars is going to join the party next month, and I'll talk about that when I come back to do February, you can create anything. You can create and manifest anything in this energy. Saturn rewards hard work. Saturn rewards those of us that are doing the work are in, our, in our integrity <laughs> and are using strategy and planning. We're not trying to fly by the night and go by, you know, personality. We're doing the work. We're doing the homework. And when you do that, you're going to see the reward for the next 30 years. So... Use this Cancer Lunar Eclipse to cut out of your life any toxic connections or habit patterns that you've had with relationships and love you and love you more than the need to do it the old way, the need to fit in, the need for others to like you, whatever the deal is, although I don't see Capricorns getting too hung up on that. But you know what I mean. It's, you just you want to be there for you. This is your birthday. This is your time. And the universe wants for you to set your intention for what it is you want in your life, where you most want to go in your life, and focus on that. Just take that tunnel vision and focus on what you want, focus on where you most want to be, and let the energy take you there. Uranus, Uranus moves direct right after the Cancer Lunar Eclipse. So on the same day, Wacko Uranus is flying forward. And so he's another one that's in here to disrupt us and shake us up. Venus enters Pisces on the 13th. And that's a lovely energy for you. Because Pisces, sextiles, opportunity, any planets you have in Capricorn. Neptune is there and, and Neptune has been working for you. In fact, Neptune is trining the Cancer lunar eclipse. And so, you know, with Neptune, you know, for some of you, you may be asking for a soulmate relationship, a spiritual relationship, or friends that have a deeper connection with you, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. 
And that's what you want to be doing. You want to be focusing on the big ask. You want to be focusing on what it is you want and where you want to be. Stay out of obsessive thinking because with Mercury in Capricorn and Pluto, conjunct Pluto, coupled with Pluto, we can just obsess. Now I've got that one too <laughs> in my natal chart. So I know all about this of how you can just be so obsessive and that's just not using the energy well because if we're obsessing about something it, it's not like we're taking action in a healthy way or we're uh, focusing on what we want so watch out for obsessive thinking it's better to go off into Neptune and daydream it's more constructive to be using the Neptunian energy that's so positive at this time with any planets in uh, Cancer or Scorpio we don't have anything in Scorpio right now but because Neptune is in Pisces it forms a uh, harmonious energy flow with its sister sign Scorpio and Cancer with it in Cancer and it is sextiling any planets you have in Capricorn this is Neptune this is your way out it's it's like go to your higher self go to your spiritual self go up in higher consciousness and meditate dream create be creative and focus on what you're dreaming about rather than trying to be uh, having the answers right now because with this energy and this transform transformation that we're going through answers may come right now answers may come next month so be aware of that then mercury jumps into aquarius on the 16th and that can put your mind focused on prosperity and abundance which is really good and then the sun enters aquarius on january 20th and we have the aquarius new moon on the 24th now this new moon is a kicker too because the sun and the moon are coupled together in aquarius in the area of what do I want? What do I want in my life? What do I value now? What do I love and value now? And it's being challenged by its ruler, Uranus. So right at the start of the year, we have the first new moon after yours, and Uranus is challenging this new moon. Unlike yours where it was in harmony with it, it's challenging this new moon, which tells me that we've got some surprising energy to work with there could be some you know truth that comes in like bolts of lightning because that's Uranus loves to throw bolts of lightning at us to just wake us up it's like whoa <laughs> I didn't know that but the intention is to liberate you now you have Uranus in a very favorable part of your life in the area of self-expression creative self-expression self-confidence true love romance having fun pleasurable pursuits and so for you it is about liberating your creative self-expression and how you use your creativity in your life to live your best life and we're at the beginning of something here that's why it's about going with the flow trying new things but not being okay this is how it's going to be or this is how it has to be no it's about being open and trying new things and seeing where things go Uranus is all about experimenting Saturn can be you know the tried and true but maybe it's we're being asked to do a blend of you know if something's working keep it if if it's about trying a new approach to something let's do it because Uranus is giving you fresh insights to long and with long-term solutions if you're open to the new insights and just like the Saturn Pluto conjunction on the 12th the Aquarius new moon on the 24th is showing us that we're all at the at the beginning of something new here this this new life this is the beginning you're at the beginning so it's not about hurrying along and rushing out uh, to get it all done to figure it all out it really is about being very present 
taking it one day at a time and being open to new experiences. Because with Uranus, success comes from reaching out to new experiences. Uranus rewards us for being innovative, creative, original, authentic, and trying new things, experimenting. You want to be open to that because you are getting this new start in this area of prosperity and what you love and value, your self-worth, self-respect, self-appreciation, your talents, gifts, and abilities. And so this is the time for you to try something new. Now, I am offering my YouTube Insiders course in January. Have you thought about being a YouTube creator and publishing to YouTube. If you have value to contribute to YouTube, you can experience great success. If you like to teach, educate, entertain, or inspire others, there's a place for you on YouTube and it's only getting bigger. If you're interested in that, the link is below. You just go to my website and you can sign up for the free webinar. Now, for those of you open for love, you do have the moon in that area, shining a light on it. And why not be open to say someone different from you? This is the time to try new things. Instead of going for the type of person you've always gone for, maybe it's time to try someone new or something new that will work for you. <laughs> that rhymes. For those of you in a relationship, you may find, and you can't help this because there's so many planets in Capricorn, that you're really focused on yourself right now. And it's not that you don't love them and you don't, that you don't care. It's that the universe is really asking for you to transform from the inside out. And so there's so much going on with you on so many levels that if others feel like you're not present, just let them know you're there <laughs> and that um, you're not going anywhere and that you are really working on yourself and that the more you do this good work with yourself, the more present you are going to be in the relationship and the more love you're going to bring to your relationships. Now, full moons do bring things to completions, and this is, you know, a lunar eclipse. So for some of you, it is about moving out of any kind of toxic relationship you've been in. And you will find these planets will boot you right out, because that's how they are with us. They give us, you know, the time to, like, figure it out for ourselves. Like, oh, this is kind of done for me. <laughs> but then when we're not listening or we're just ignoring the red flags, you know, the bolt of lightning comes in. Or with Saturn and, and Pluto like this, it's just like, it's over, you know, and you're in a new life. It's like, whoa, I moved, I, I have a new job, I have, you know, a whole new life, and it was overnight. It can come that fast. So that's why it's so important to be present and really think about what it is you want because with some people what they do is they they hate their life they hate their relationships and so the universe comes in and takes it all away and then they complain that they don't have a life and they don't have a relationship but it's like but that's what you were you said you didn't want anymore and so so be aware of what what you're putting out there because we create our own reality and the planets are only reflecting back to us what we're sending out so be aware and uh, focus on what you want. Don't focus on what you don't want because you'll get more of that. And that's why we want to keep our energy up and um, focus on the good things, the good stuff. Now, career-wise, it's, it's going gangbusters here for you. You're as busy as you can be and loving the action. And... This is awesome. So I, I see, you know, that you can be incredibly successful here in January and in 2020 because Saturn rewards hard work. 
Pluto is not an unlucky planet either. And you've got Jupiter in your sign. And so if you're focused on doing your best, letting go of the rest, you're going to see the return. And you're going to see a very solid return. Not only are you going to get the return now in January, but you're going to get the return you know, for the next 30 years. So there's a lot to look forward here. And money looks good too. You have Mercury in there working for you. You have Venus in there working for you until she enters uh, Pisces on the 13th. So if you are using your talents, gifts, and abilities to create abundance, you're going to draw more of that to you. And it is about, you know, reaching out for new approaches to prosperity. Because you're getting a fresh start here with your money. How is your health? Your wealth is in your health. It's very important to be taking care of ourselves in this energy because these aren't maybe planets. It's <laughs> Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter's in the pack now with them. So make sure you're, you know, getting, you know, good dental checks and physical and eating really well and exercising, doing all the things that make your body feel strong so that you're going into this new year feeling good, feeling your best. Spiritually, this is the time to really get it on with God. <laughs> like, sit and have a chat with God. I mean, you can chat with God all day long in your car, uh, you know, on a walk, in your living room. God's always listening. And the way out is through the mighty I am presence. The way out is through connecting spiritually to your higher self. Because your higher self has all the answers. It's just waiting to bestow them on to you. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, and sharing my videos. Capricorn, you're rocking awesome. And thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps to support the channel, and it lets you know when I upload. And, of course, I'm offering my YouTube Insiders course here in January. It might be just the ticket for you, Capricorn. If you're ready for something new and innovative ways to build prosperity. And so until next time, Capricorn, stay busy, focus on what you want, let go of the rest, and happy birthday! Yay!